Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is so nice to see you. Today is a little story time. I want to tell you why and how did I move to Chile because I do have a lot of questions about it. As some of you already know me, I'm not working or studying for Chile or in Chile. So why am I here, right? The reason is actually pretty simple. My husband is Chilean. That's why I decided uh, where are we gonna live, in Russia or in Chile, I mean, it's pretty obvious, we decided to move to Chile. I met my husband when I came here for the first time for the business trip, and when we decided that we want to get married and live together and have a family, uh, we were choosing between countries, you know, where to live, and Chile was the most attractive point for us, if selecting uh, from the possibilities that we had. It was also work-related because I can work remotely at my job and my husband cannot. So it was easier for us at that moment to move to Chile. I was getting ready to move pretty fast. I did not prepare any documents in Spanish. You know, I just took all the documents that I had. I took all the basics that I need, like some clothes, some books, these kind of things. And... If you have more time, because I had about three, four months to prepare to my moving. But yeah, definitely, if you have more time, then I would suggest to translate all the documents that you need to translate. Get, the, um, get all the necessary stamps and so on. For me, the biggest pain <laughs> that I had while preparing to move was that I had to leave my library behind and I had quite a big library because I have been living for a few years alone already so I got a lot of possessions and yeah uh, it didn't make any sense to me to bring a lot of things and um, because if you will look at the prices it's pretty expensive to move things in containers from the continent yes like europe asia to latin america so i would not suggest doing it it is so much easier and cheaper to just buy all the things you need again on the new place and sell them in the old place and then to move all your things plus you know possessions is not something that defines us so the less you can take the better I was taking additional suitcase, so I had three suitcases in total uh, with all the things that I needed. And one of the suitcases was uh, the things for the baby, because you know all my relatives, they gave us some things to start with uh, when we're gonna have a kid. I came here by plane, and fun fact, it was cheaper to buy a two-way ticket than one-way ticket. So I did have a two-way ticket. I did not use the second way, obviously. I stayed here. And I used KLM and Air France. If you're flying from Europe, this is one of the most popular way to go. You're using KLM and Air France that are working together. So for example, uh, I was flying from St. Petersburg to Paris and then from there to Santiago. And if you're flying back from Santiago to St. Petersburg, it was like, Santiago, Amsterdam, St. Petersburg. The tickets were pretty expensive at the time, but I, th I do believe they are even more expensive right now. They were about 1 million peso for a person. Plus, I paid for additional suitcase. I was lucky enough to have an apartment already here prepared because, you know, I had this easy start. My husband, he is Chilean, so he found and rented the apartment for us beforehand. And I also get asked one question very often, whether I knew any Spanish when I came here? And the answer is no. I knew how to say hi, bye, thank you, and my name, but I didn't know any Spanish. I couldn't understand uh, what the family of my husband was saying, for example, because they speak only Spanish, no English. But now, living here for over three years, I can say that I feel pretty confident in Spanish in understanding what people say around me even with different accents as they're coming from all Latin America and I even feel comfortable enough working using Spanish. So yeah, everything is possible even if you 
don't have a Spanish to start at, but you really want to move to Chile, it shouldn't be something that stops you. You just need to put a lot of work in it, a lot of practice, and you will be able to do it. If you want to know more about how I was learning Spanish, like step by step, or like some tips, write me in the comments. I will definitely make a video about it. And I think that's all for today. I covered all my movement. <laughs> So if you have any questions, if I didn't open some of the topics that you're interested in, definitely write me in the comments. I will be happy to answer you. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.